We welcome Dan Lloyd. And first of all, Dan, uh, a quick fitness check. Uh, Rumours about a bad back this week. What's, what's going on there? Yeah, generally I suffer with a bad back. I, I got diagnosed at the start of the year with a bulging disc, which um, nips on my sciatic nerve. So I have to put in quite a lot of work all the time to just keep on top of it. But after Croft, it was really tight Monday morning something give way and it trapped my nerves so not too bad now but literally on Tuesday I was pulling myself up the staircase to get up the stairs it was that bad so it's just yeah a lot of work to try and get it mobilized and get it back going again. How can you cope inside the car if you've got something that even prevents you getting up the stairs? I've been suffering for about 18, 18 months now it's pretty bad like I've even suffered with insom insomnia and gone to sleep classes because of the pain it gives me through the night and it's been a really long process to get it better luckily when I'm in the car it actually doesn't hurt too bad it's not I can I can cope with it it's more the day-to-day -day life stuff like sleeping and mm. things like that where it gets to me uh, but like I say just important just to keep on top of it I suppose adrenaline kicks in in the car, which, yeah. which, which always helps. Yeah. Uh, Croft, last weekend, your home event. I know that you were you know, full of anticipation for it. A bit frustrating, races two and three. Yeah, it was looking like it was going to be a mega day. Like I had a bit of a flashback from when, uh, when I was in the Honda. I was thinking, could be in for reverse grid here. Uh, race one moved up to ninth, and we went for the faster optional tyre for race two. Um, made some improvements to the car and unfor unfortunately we got quite a severe hit on lap one which caused enough damage to the car where we just suffered and just kept dropping back from there you know even if we would made a couple of places in race two with a faster optional tyre would have been pulled for race three so it was really a day of what could have been which was a shame because obviously it's been a tough season we haven't got the raw pace in the car it's not there for some reason and it really does take a day with a little bit of luck and um, a little bit of fortune to get up and get into that reverse grid at the moment. What is the way forward then with the car if you are suffering in that way? Can you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us? Um, we're not sure. It's just not switching on like we expect it to. And, you know, it doesn't look horrendous from the outside. But, you, you know, you've got to consider we've got no weight in that car. You know, I think both myself and Jason are, are good peddlers and we're struggling to beat cars with 75, 66 kilos in and, and so on. Um, it doesn't seem to have the strength front end wise to get the car rotated. And the only way to make it rotate is to take the grip from the rear. So then it's just moving the grip from the front to the back. It's not actually gaining grip. Um, it seems positive this morning. But then again, we, you know, it seemed positive at Croft, but I think I was P P3 with six minutes to go at Croft yeah. in quali and then dropped down to 14. So it just depends what everyone else pulls out the bag, really. So with those problems, how about this circuit? Yeah, I think it's similar everywhere, to be honest. Um, like Luffield and out of Beckett's, you really need that rotation in the car so you're able to take the lock off on, on the exit. Um, so... I want to be positive, but, you know, we're knocking on the end of the season now and we haven't really found a switch yet. So I think we're going to be struggling with the similar issues again this weekend. OK, well, we wish you the best and uh, hope that back sorts itself out as well. And uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah, all the best for the weekend, uh, despite Cheers. all the problems <laughs> that have come your way. Thank you. Cheers, Dan.